Dave, how are they holding up tonight? Yeah, I mean, look at the house behind me. There's a family that lives there from East Point right at this corner home. They're OK physically. Mentally, that's kind of a different story. They're taking it day by day, more like hour by hour as they assess the full damage. Uh, now a day later after this happened, but they are able to keep this all in perspective. This is the SUV speeding by moments before impact caught on a neighbor's ring doorbell. It's close to 2 a.m. Sunday morning. The Redmond family sound asleep. I woke up to the dresser falling on my feet um, and he woke up to us screaming. The SUV had just slammed into the side of her bedroom. Immediately, she and her husband went to check on their two kids. I'm like, how did this even happen? Yeah. Like, this is crazy. The Redmond family had a friend that was staying in the basement as well. We had to try to get, drag her basically through the rubble to, to get out. So we finally got the kids and we got all out and we called 911. They, they was here instantly within a, a minute or so. Before first responders arrived on scene, the driver, as seen on the ring doorbell camera, was getting out of the SUV. When he first came outside, the guy, he said, was still in the car and then he was gone by the time we all got out. As the Redmonds processed what was happening, they also took stock of what could have happened. We saw like a bunch of smoke, which I guess was dust from the rubble. Um, and we heard the water running and we smelled gas because the gas pipe was wide open. As a matter of sheer luck, a gas meter was positioned right here on the side of the house, right where the car crashed into the house. On Friday, the gas company came and they moved that meter to the side of the house, right where you see the red pipe sticking out. Had they not done that, this would be an entirely different story altogether. While everyone is unharmed, the rebuilding process will likely be a long one. We have a, a, a laundry room and a bathroom down in the basement. It's, it's cracked all the way around that. So basically the foundation from what I see is cracked all the way around. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep in there again. Yeah. I'm, I, can't, I can't sleep now anywhere at the moment, but right. definitely in there. Our new lightning glow up toys, they were just bought on Saturday and they are probably broken now. Luckily, a little perspective can go a long way. Just take it one day at a time. Yeah. You know, it's very overwhelming right now, yes. but we, we, we got each other. Luckily, we still have each other, yeah. so we'll, we'll just lean on each other and, and make the best of it. So. And when we are out here, there was a contractor, and as you can see, they have done some work to kind of shore up the building. That's the damage from where the car made impact in the house. And as for the driver of that SUV that slammed into it, I talked to East Point Police. They did say that they were able to apprehend him. He is in custody. They would not say what led up to him losing control and crashing into that house. They say that's very much still under investigation. Reporting live tonight in East Point, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. My goodness, though, um, and there was just a side street, right, Dave? And on top of that, wondering, though, the person on the basement, how close did they come to actually being struck or injured by this vehicle? Yeah, they had to crawl out. The person in the basement that you asked about had to crawl out over stairs. Or, I mean, over the rubble that was blocking the stairs. And the people that were uh, living er, in the bedroom, they had just moved their bed that used to be against that wall back uh, farther away to the other wall. Thankfully, they were able to make that move. And uh, otherwise, we'd be doing a whole different story. But yeah, this is a very, very much in the middle of a na uh, residential neighborhood speed limit here, 25 miles an hour. They say they will be putting out. Uh, uh, boulders hmm. so this doesn't happen again.